What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess, High Priestess Intuition. Welcome back to my subscribers and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Jim and I, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. Just saying. This is um, week four's reading for the sign of Gemini. This could resonate if you have Gemini in any aspects of your charts. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Haven, Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, that it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Um, I got one channeled message in as I was meditating on your week four of December of 2021's reading. And the message I received was accounts frozen soon. Um, so you plug that in, how that resonates, if that um, resonates for you. Accounts frozen soon. And I heard plural accounts up with an S. So accounts frozen soon. Um, whoever that's for. Now, I didn't hear it was a Gemini, um, but... For some, I feel it could be a Gemini accounts frozen soon or somebody connected to a Gemini's accounts frozen soon. And I did hear it plural with an S. So um, some accounts frozen soon energy, whether it is a Gemini's accounts, two plus accounts in the universe about to be frozen or somebody they're connected to two plus accounts about to be frozen in some shape, form or fr uh, fashion. So. You plug that in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you, Gemini. Um, if it's not you, it could be somebody you're connected to. Maybe you learn about this, possibly. You plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, um, this is a free general reading for sign of Gemini. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it does not apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages to resonate. Free general reading. Thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. You guys are just the best. If you like to donate, there's one way today, because I forgot to put it on live. So... It's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only. No Cash App, no Venmo. Um, it is a very private, confidential way to donate that way. Just to let everybody know, I do not share your name or how much you donate on the channel when you do donate through my private PayPal. Just to let everybody know. Uh, for private and uh, privacy and confidentiality purposes, I respect everybody's privacy. So just let it right now. Okay. Princess of Swords upright, Seven of Wands reversed. A particular feminine energy in a Gemini's life is really, really speaking their truth. The cold hard truth. It is scaring this Gemini because they know several significant series of chain events are about to occur positively for them and negatively for the Gemini, and they are right. It's about to happen. Oh my goodness. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Good Lord. Well, hopefully this is just for one Gemini in the universe. You plug it in, how it resonates. Okay, so I heard um, a particular fem energy. Hopefully this is just for one Gemini in the universe, hopefully. But um, it's a fem energy speaking her truth. I heard the cold hard truth. So she speaks the cold hard truth. She doesn't hold back. Hopefully she does in a tactful manner. But it doesn't sound like she holds back. It sounds like she's honest and um, she speaks it with... Um, you know, tact and reasonable um, way of putting it out in the universe. Um, but it is the truth. It is the truth. And basically, um, it scares one particular Gemini because they know significant series of chain events are about to occur that's about to be positive for her, but negative for this Gemini. And I heard from spirit, this Gemini is right. So whoever this Gemini is, they sound like a criminal. Um, I didn't hear that, but it does. It sounds like they're a complete criminal. Complete criminal. And they're about to be exposed through many series of chain of events. Many. For the criminal they are. Okay, whoa. I heard complete criminal, complete. And then they're about to be exposed uh, through many series of chain of events for the criminal they are. So um, it's some kind of criminal energy. Um, this one Gemini. Now, if you do not resonate with this particular story, you guys, you don't resonate with it. It might be another Gemini you're connected to in some shape, form, or fashion. There's millions of billions of people in the world. Hopefully, this is just one Gemini in the world. It probably isn't. It's probably several Geminis in the world. But 
I'm not calling everybody criminals is what I'm trying to say. This is just one channeling, hopefully for one or maybe a couple Geminis in the world. Not calling everybody criminals by any stretch. You only take the messages that resonate. But um, whoever this Gemini is, they are a criminal. They know they're a criminal. They know they are. But it sounds like this feminine energy's voice was silenced in the past or people didn't believe her or something occurred to where they didn't listen to her, but now they're listening to her in some shape, form, or fashion, and what she's speaking is the truth. So I think this Gemini is connected to this femme energy in some shape. I think this, I heard this Gemini is a criminal. Now it could be a masculine or femme Gemini that is the criminal here, but I think they did something to this femme energy, some kind of criminal activity to the femme energy. Um, but, um, or lied on this femme energy in some shape, form, or fashion, which caused some kind of criminal activities possibly. But however that, or maybe both, but however that resonates, it's making this one particular Gemini scared. And I heard um, it should because um, they know that positive series of chain of events are about to occur for her, negative about to occur for this Gemini. And I heard from Spirit, they're right. They are right. And um, uh, negative series of chain of events are about to occur for this criminal Gemini. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. So this is the Fem Energy speaking their truth. Honesty, truth, and clarity. Um, in the past, they either couldn't stand up for themselves or nobody listened to them or they um, wasn't able to defend themselves in some shape, form, or fashion, or they just didn't have personal power possibly in the past, but now it sounds like they do, however that resonates, or their power was taken away in some shape, form, or fashion. But now they're free and clear, and they can speak their truth. And many people are listening, and this Gemini is about to be exposed in a very negative way, very negative. For some of these feminine energies, a Virgo is very significant in this because they know the truth for sure. Okay, I heard, and many people listening. So many people are listening to this feminine energy now. I think in the past they didn't. They didn't. It, it caused our personal power to decrease and decline and uh, kind of defenseless type energy in a way, possibly. But I heard many, many people were listening to her now. And they're learning the truth. So they're learning the truth and it's about to go bad for this Gemini. But um, one particular Virgo is very significant in this because I heard the Virgo really knows the truth. So the Virgo is connected to, either is connected to the um, Femme energy or was connected to the Femme energy in the past in some shape, form, or fashion. However, that plugs into this situation's life. You have to plug yourself in where you fit if you do. But the Virgo really knows the truth. The Virgo could be a past lover, current lover, um, family member, neighbor, former co-worker, current co-worker, however that resonates. But they are either currently connected to the femme energy or in the past connected to the femme energy. But I heard the Virgo really, really knows the truth. And the Virgo was about to help out this situation in a huge way, a huge way. Okay, I heard it, and the Virgo is about to help out this situation in a huge way. So this Virgo is very integral in helping this femme energy in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, but they do know the truth. They know the true, true, truth. And it sounds like this one particular Gemini in the universe was trying to cover it up or lie or slander this femme energy. But it sounds like it's about to backfire on them. So you plug it in how it resonates. Spirit messages you have, Sun Gemini. Ten of Cups upright, Six of Pentacles reverse. A particular Gemini single parent does not receive any child support from their partner. Any. Some one partner of the past, some several partners of the past. But... They have a very, very happy home life. Very happy. And they like to keep it that way. One suspects they have a hidden camera in their home. They're about to check their house for hidden cameras. Very smart. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Well, you go with your bad self, whoever this is for. Uh, so whoever you are, you're a single parent Gemini. 
Now, you could be a masculine or a femme, single parent Gemini. You have to plug yourself in where you fit if you do. This is much better energy than this. A particular Gemini in the universe is about to get busted. But it sounds like, in all fairness, they should be. Um, but this is much better energy. So you're a single parent Gemini. You could be masculine or femme Gemini, however this plugs in your life. But for some, well, it's at least two of you guys, because I heard for some of you guys, you, um, you, you don't receive child support. So whoever this is, whether it's situation one or two, you do not receive child support, period. But in one situation, you have one, sounds like baby mama or baby daddy in the past. For some, it's two plus baby mama or baby daddies in the past. Or it could be exes or ex-spouses or ex-partners or what have you. But for some, one partner in the past. For some, two plus partners in the past. How are they plugging your life? Um, but you were single now, single as a Pringle. And it sounds like you have custody of your ch child or children. Um, and you're very happy. You're very happy that way. I heard you do not receive any child support from any of these people. Whether it's one person or two plus people, you do not receive any child support, but you like it that way. You're happy that way. So you make ends meet regardless of child support or not. And kudos to you. I mean, if, however, I believe everybody should live life happily as long as they don't steal from anybody or harm anybody mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, or financially or sexually. And financially is theft. So you go with your bad self. If it works for you, it works for you. Um, but I heard you're happy that way. You're happy that way. And, um, but at least one of you guys suspects there is a hidden camera in your home is what I heard. You suspect there's a hidden camera and I heard you're about to check to see if there's a hidden camera in your home. And you go with your bad self. Absolutely. We've had a lot of hidden camera energy in the collective period. Two readers just in the past couple of weeks have found hidden cameras in their homes. Two readers have. So I, if you feel there's a hidden camera in your home, absolutely. I would suggest checking. Um, of course, you can take the advice or leave it. If anybody needs to know if this message resonates with you, single parent Gemini, there is an app called Hidden Camera Detector. It is an app you can download on your phone. I heard it was free and um, you can download it. Uh, download it. It scans your home for either speaker devices or cameras or what have you. Um, both of the readers I just spoke about that found hidden cameras within the last couple of weeks, that's how they found their cameras. One was a speaker, one was cameras. So you plug it in, how it resonates. Hopefully that helps somebody out there because one of you guys suspects you're a single parent, you suspect there's a hidden camera in your home. So hopefully that app, that app helps you. Hopefully you can um, get the freaking camera or speaker or what have you, if there is something in your house, out. Um, so Six of Pentacles reverse, you do not receive any child support. Ten of Cups upright, you have a happy family home. You go through bad self. Hopefully, if you um, have, if you do have a hidden camera in there, you can get the, the crap out. Just seriously. One will find a hidden camera and they will contact the reader. Holy crap, whoa. I heard one of you guys will find a hidden camera. So one of you guys will find a hidden camera and you will contact the reader. So I guess the reader that's helped you um, with some kind of information on a hidden camera or some something regarding hidden camera, maybe the reader spoke about, but you're going to contact a reader or readers. I heard reader, but for some, it could be two plus and let them know that you got the hidden camera out of your home. Well, you go with your bad self, single parent that doesn't get any child support, Gemini, whoever you are, masculine or feminine. Um, you go with your bad self. Nobody should have to be succumbed to hidden cameras. And one of these particular Geminis is going to turn around and F, F, uh, FTC report on a very serious situation of the past. Very serious. Help out a family with valuable information. Okay, well, you go with your bad self, Gemini. Okay, so one of you guys, it's at least two plus you guys in the universe, but at least one of you guys I heard is going, once you find the hidden camera, uh, it sounds like you're going to scan your home, whether you do it with hidden camera, um, I'm sorry, the hidden um, camera detector app or not, however you do it, you're going to um, find a hidden camera. Um, but once you find it, basically, I heard you're going to contact a reader and let them know it was in there and then you're going to turn around and federal trade commission report and help out a family a very serious situation of the past a family that was in a very serious situation of the past so you plug it in however it resonates you go with your bad self jim and i if that resonates for you you go with your bad self spirit messages you have son jim and i
Nine of swords reversed, five of swords, wands upright. There's about to be a very serious conflict breakout in the Gemini's workplace at work. This Gemini will just be a bystander on this. Do not get drugged into the drama. For some, it will be a physical altercation between two employees. For some, it will be, it will not. It would not be smart to get drug into it. Oh my goodness. So you plug it in how it resonates. Whoa. So if this resonates with you, it's some kind of um, altercation at work. So you work in a workplace, a physical workplace. You now it could be a facility, a site, a location, a hospital, a site, a workspace, what have you. But it's some kind of site out in the public some, in some shape, form, or fashion where you are employed at a company or some something of that shape, form, or fashion. Um, you're an employee at this place, this company or what have you. But um, for some, I heard it, it you're, well, both situations, you're gonna be on the outskirts. So you, it's not gonna be you in the physical conflict. And it sounds like it's verbal for one, and one, it's verbal probably gonna lead to physical. But in both of these situations, if this resonates with you, I heard you're not, physically in it. So you are just observing it from the sidelines, basically. But you are not the one physically, verbally altercating back or verbally altercating back, which turns into physical, possibly. Um, you're just on the sidelines, like witnessing it. Uh, but I heard it would not be smart to get involved in it. It would not be smart to get involved with it. Um, basically, be smart to stay on the sidelines, basically. And if you need to, you know, if the police get called, it'd be smart just to observe and report to the police whatever you saw basically but not to physically get involved with it and absolutely not you don't want to add fuel to the fire and you don't want to get yourself in trouble so nine of swords reverse no stress anxiety worry fear because i feel for a lot of you guys you're going to stay on the sidelines which would be the smart thing why would anybody willingly free willingly insert themselves into some kind of physical altercation or verbal fight i don't know um but you plug it in how it resonates and then five of wands upright, this is the work energy, the conflict that you're going to be on the sidelines, which is going to cause you to have no stress, anxiety, worry, fear, because you're going to be on the sidelines. So for some, I heard it's a verbal conflict. For some, it is, um, and it could be loud and heated, possibly for some. For some, it could just be verbal. For some, it's, it sounds like it's going to be loud and heated and then turn into physical. But you're going to remain on the sidelines is what it sounds like for a lot of you guys. So you, which is going to give you no stress, anxiety, worry, fear. So you plug it in, how that resonates, if that resonates for you. One of you is going to end up calling the police. It would be smart. Oh, whoa. Okay, I heard one of you guys is going to end up calling the police. It would be smart. So in one of these, these are at least two plus situations in the universe. One of you guys, it sounds like this verbal conflict at work between people that's not you. Sounds like your coworkers is going to get so bad, you are you are going to precipitate and call the police. But I heard it would be smart. So um, protect yourself, protect your workplace, protect your coworkers, protect everybody and call them the police. Um, yeah, absolutely. Lord have mercy. All right. Let me pull you one oracle and then we'll close it. Spirit messages you have signed as given up. A particular Gemini's X spouse is going through many series of chain events is about to be publicly recognized in a very positive way and for some publicly recognized and end up falling in love you're going to be shocked okay so you plug it in how it resonates so one of you guys has an ex-spouse so an ex-wife or ex-husband how that resonates 
But I heard through many series of chain of events, your ex-spouse, whether it's ex-wife or ex-husband, I heard it's going to, for some, they're going to end up being very publicly recognized soon. Um, and for some, they're going to end up being very publicly, and it sounds like positively publicly recognized. For some, and for some positively publicly recognized and end up falling in love with somebody. Um, I heard it's going to, it's going to shock you. So you plug it in, however that resonates, if that resonates for you. So at least for one Gemini in the universe, you, it's some ex-spouse energy. You could have one ex-spouse or you could have 10. You plug it in, how it resonates. Stag spirit leadership, guardians of the land protection. Number 39 or 21 could be very significant numbers in one's life, possibly 39 or 21. Those could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to. Possibly, um, it could be a possible lottery number, um, date of birth number, social security card number, green card number, jersey number, 39 or 21 leadership. Also, um, stag spirit is earth sign energy. So for some, you could be dealing with the Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, possibly. If you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hater, Jupiter charts. Leadership. A particular Gemini is about to really, really stand up and be a big leader in their workplace. Going to help protect a lot of people. For some, it's a gun gun person coming into the place of work. You're going to help save lives. Holy crap, whoa, so you plug it in, how it resonates. Oh my God, somebody's about to be a hero. If this resonates for you, Gemini, somebody's about to be a hero. You're an employee in a workplace situation. I think for some, it's this. I think for some, it's this. Now, there's two different situations here, but I think for some, it could fit in with this possibly. Um, I'm serious, possibly, but you plug it in how it resonates. But how that resonates, I heard you're about to be a hero in your workplace. You're about to be a hero in your workplace. For one of you guys, it sounds like a gun person energy. So it, a gun person, it could be a masculine or a femme that walks in with a gun, with a gun. And I feel for some, it could be a, Former, I mean, not a former, it could be a co-worker. And I'm not even going to lie because this is heavy co-worker energy over here. For some, it could be a co-worker. For some, it could be um, a patron of the business. But I feel for some, I strongly feel it is co-worker energy because of this. But I heard a gun person in your workplace. These people are not happy and these are co-workers. So for some, I feel the gun person could be a co-worker. And I'm not even going to lie. For some, it could be a patron of the business. But however that resonates, and I heard one of these, you're going to call the police. So it could be on the gun person, possibly. Whether it's a patron of the business or an employee. However that resonates. But however that resonates, you're about to step it up in your workplace, buddy. You're about to call the police. You're about to be a hero. And you're about to stand up to this gun person. Whether it is an employee of this place that you are employed at or a patron of the place. Leadership energy. You go with your bad self. I would love to know if this resonates with somebody. Of course, you don't have to tell me, but I would love to freaking know. Leadership. This is beautiful energy. And one particular Gemini's daughter is about to get an award soon. Wonderful leader and wonderful example. It's going to make you very proud. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. And for one of you guys, um, you have a daughter. Um, and I heard she is about to get an award soon. She's a wonderful leader and example. Um, and she's about to get an award. So I heard you're going to be very proud. So in this situation, it's your daughter that is exhibiting leadership skills. It's either, I feel either at school or in an extracurricular activity or at work for some. But she's about to get some type of award and um, that's, I think, demonstrating her leadership skills in some shape, form, or fashion. I heard you're going to make, it's going to make you very proud. And it should, absolutely. Protection.
One particular Gemini is about to go get a gun permit to protect themselves. Single parent Gemini. Okay, well, you go with your bad self. So I heard one of you guys is about to go get a gun permit to protect yourself. You're a single parent Gemini. So protection energy in this situation is the physical is a gun. Um, I heard gun permit. So it's a physical, it's a gun. You uh, want to, but whoever this is for, you're about to do it the right way. I heard a gun permit. So I'm assuming you're going to go take a gun safety class, educate yourself on the dangers of weapons and firearms and things of that nature. And you're going to do it the right way. You're a single parent. But you want to be protected yourself. And absolutely, who doesn't? Who doesn't? So kudos to whoever you are. You could be masculine or femme, single parent, Gemini. I'm pulling in single parent, Gemini energy, very strong. Um, but I feel you're about to do it the right way. Gun safety class, gun permit. You're about to do it the right way. Protection energy in this situation is firearm. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, I didn't hear anything else. And one particular Virgo and Leo is about to communicate soon. For one Gemini, this is going to make them very happy. For one Gemini, this is going to piss them off in a huge way. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Okay, so Virgo and Leo energy in here, um, whoever this is for. Um, Virgo and Leo energy strong, whoever this message is for. I heard one particular Virgo and Leo is about to um, communicate soon. It could be a masculine or femme, Virgo or Leo. They could have Virgo or Leo in their sun, rising, Venus, ortho, mid, or Jupiter. I heard for one Gemini, it's going to make them very happy, and one Gemini is going to piss them off. So you plug it in however it resonates. If this resonates for you, Gemini, you could be the one happy that these two are communicating, or you could be the one pissed these two are communicating. However that resonates. All right, you guys, we're done. I love you guys so much. Everybody make wonderful choices and namaste.